Go ahead and fill her up with high octane and make it fast. Yes, sir, no problem. Coming right up. Hey, man, about last night. Hold that thought, Takumi. I'm glad I found you. There's a little something I wanted to talk to you about. You came here to talk to me? It's worth I feel bad about what went down with Itsuki. Would you do me a favor and tell him something for me? Tell him I said he needs to forget all about my little sister and find himself a nice girl. One that'll treat him right. So this is what a supercharger feels like from the inside. Man, it's a completely different feel from my 8.6. I clocked in over 200 horsepower last time I put it on the chassis dynamo. But when I take her out on a high-speed uphill like Mount Akina, you can't tell there's a supercharger under the hood. It takes tight passes like the ones in Chichibu for you to really see what kind of a boost it gets. You've beaten the Northern Saitama Alliance, and now that you've stumped us into the ground, you're running out of challenges here in Saitama. But if you really want to dot the I's on your trip here, there's one more group you might want to put your sights on. I'm warning you, they're a shady bunch of pricks. But just talking about their skill level, they shouldn't give you a whole lot of trouble. So... Huh? Look... There's something I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. I was curious if you ever felt like you were kind of being held back by the 8-6's limited capabilities. Huh? Well, yeah, dude, of course I do. I mean, why wouldn't I? Why else do you think I'd jack it up with things like the supercharger and the turbo? I mess with it all the time, man. Even in the rain the other night, I caught myself wishing the Levin's body was a little lighter, more updated. It started to wear on me after a while. To be honest, I'm surprised to hear you've had the same concerns about it, you know? I guess I sort of thought you were above it or something, I don't know. I mean, you've gone up against all kinds of different cars in the 8-6, and you haven't lost yet. Okay. I haven't told anybody this, but something happened the other night. I... sort of got passed on my home course. I have a hard time believing that. You know that pass like the back of your hand. I've seen you. What kind of car was it? A Subaru Impreza. Makes sense. That's a four-wheel drive. I've been feeling really weird about it ever since it happened. It's like I worked myself up into some kind of four-wheel drive anxiety complex. Maybe so. But remember, you've gone up against a Lan Evo before and you've won. Don't focus so much attention on the fact it's a four-wheel drive. It'll only screw you up. I know, and I'm trying not to, but it doesn't seem to help. I know it shouldn't have shaken me up so bad, but it did. So if there's any advice you could give me, I would really appreciate it. Damn, dude, I don't know. I've had to deal with the limits of the 8-6 more times than I'd like to admit. But when you really break it down, it doesn't matter if you're going up against a four-wheel drive, an FF, an FR, or what. All new cars are scary. What do you mean, all of them? Nothing wrong with a little bit of fear as long as you use it to your advantage. I worked my ass off to improve on my own skills, trying to make up for the weaknesses of the car. All right. I think I know something might be useful. I don't know if it'll help you with your complex, but it sure as hell helped me get over mine. You don't know it yet, but your next opponent will probably be a four-wheel drive. Up until last year, you were able to keep knocking out wins with no knowledge or information or any background in this stuff. But no matter how good a driver you are, at some point you're gonna hit a wall. Before now, you've beaten four-wheel drives by going as hard as you know how, not by understanding your opponents. That's the definition of a clueless victory. But, I think you were still attacking the problems of the 8-6 in the right way. So just deal with the four-wheel drive like you tackle any other car you're facing. Know their advantages, and exploit the hell out of their weaknesses. If you want to keep winning, get creative. Your upcoming battle will be the perfect chance. Try to put some serious brain power on it, and figure out a way you can defeat these four-wheel drives. 
Tell me something I don't know. But how am I gonna do that? Of course, it gets pretty boring if you always know what to expect, so don't go overboard. Your natural cluelessness is what makes you a unique package, Takumi. Strengths and weaknesses of a four-wheel drive, huh? Wataru was right. Last year, I was driving my hardest without knowing a thing. On a scale of 1 to 10, my ignorance was at a 9.5. Of course, now I know more about four-wheel drives than I ever wanted to. I'm not sure, though. I don't think this is as simple as he's making it sound. Man, if this thing has a weakness, I have no clue what it is.